you guys be here with our next tea take and make. Today we are making cat pop-up cards. They're super fun and let's get right into it. So in your bag you have instructions. You have a template for your cat and you have a piece of construction paper for your card. The things that you will need are a pair of scissors, some glue, and some coloring pencils or markers, something to uh, color in your cat. All right, so the first step is to cut out all of our cat pieces. So let's, let's do that now. All right, now that we have all of our cat parts cut out, the next thing that we want to do is fold along the lighter lines on our square piece. So you just fold along that finer line and then do the other side. It's kind of tough paper to work with, but you can do it. All right. And these can come out a little bit. Okay, set that to the side. And on our body pieces, there are very fine lines near the feet part. And I want you to fold those up as well to make the feet. and. Just fold the feet up. Same thing on the front piece. So now we have the back piece with feet, front piece with feet. All right, we're going to open our card and we're going to take the back body piece, it's the one with the tail, where we folded the feet. That's where they're going to line up with the crease of the card. Okay, so take your glue and we're going to glue this back body piece to the card right there where the feet line up with the crease of the card. And there we are. Our next step is to determine how far forward we need to place our front body part. How, how far forward do we need to do that? So we're going to take our square with these tabs and the tabs are going to connect the back body to the front body okay so we're going to use this square to measure the distance between the back and the front so I'm lining it up right with the crease just like this and where this front piece is I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to make a little line so I know where to put the front feet. And the crease of the feet will go on this line. So it'll look like this. Front body piece is gonna go right here on the line so that the crease of the feet line up with the line that I drew. Okay, we're going to glue the feet down here. Make sure you line it up with your back body piece. Okay, our next step is to use the same square to connect the back to the front. So using these tabs, we're going to connect these two pieces. After we connect the two, it will look like this. All right, so take some glue here and here to connect the back to the front. And before your glue has set, you can fold it down to make sure it lines up properly. So 
so I might need to move mine up a little bit to make it lay down flat. Okay, so while this dries, our next step is to draw a face on our head. So feel free to use whatever design you'd like. Use whatever colors, whatever medium you would like to use to draw a face on your cat. All right, so at this point, we're going to connect our head to our body. And so we're going to glue it just on the front and you can angle it a little bit to make it look a little more inquisitive. He's a little more cute that way. Glue him right here. Okay, so at this point you can add some more color to the body pieces if you would like. I'm going to add some orange to a foot or two and his tail. Now we have a little text bubble. Feel free to write in any message you would like here and we're going to glue it just at the bottom for a little message from our cat. And go ahead and glue it on. And there we have it, your kitty pop-up card. Feel free to keep this for yourself or give it to a friend or a loved one. I hope that you enjoyed this Teen Take and Make. Um, if you did, let us know. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, keep an eye out for our next Teen Take and Make. And until then, be safe, take care, wash your hands, and we'll see you next time. Bye.